Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the compiler of a collection of therapy quotes entitled Psychoanalytic Self-Awareness Quotes. This is TQ86. Therapy quote number 86. As the client grows in therapy, as he overcomes the splitting and establishes whole object relations, and as the wounds of the past lose some of their sting, the client comes to see his mother as a whole object, both good and bad, as she existed in reality, caught in her own existential dilemma. The ancient rage at her subsides and ebbs away, as does the client's need to blame her. As an adult, he accepts the responsibility for his past as well as his present, and can see his mother as a fellow human being who was caught as was he in a net that was not of her own making. So I thought this would be a good quote to add to our Ubuntu collection, our compassion uh, collection. Ubuntu means we find our humanness in our humanity. I looked it up. Uh, Ubuntu literally translates as I am because we are. I am because we are. We find our humanness in our humanity. So that's the we are. We, that's the humanity. So I am. I find my humanness in our humanity. There's a very close connection there. So in this Masterson quote, uh, the client did the therapy, uh, overcame splitting, uh, integrated the self parts, uh, no longer relies on these uh, immature defense mechanisms like projective identification, externalization, um, you know, splitting, you know, all X, all Y, prejudice, this, that's splitting, right? And, um, and, uh, and he went through the mourning process, so he faced all those old feelings. Um, and uh, he achieved whole object relations. He saw his mom, mother, as a regular fellow human being caught in her existential dilemma. The, the human condition, right? We all come out of the womb too early. There could be prenatal trauma. There could be birth trauma, developmental trauma. There could be situational trauma. Uh, there could be school shock. That's when there's a, a sudden contrast where there's immense separation anxiety for the child and suddenly he's in this whole new environment that he wasn't prepared for. And to the child, from his point of view, it may have felt like an emotional tsunami. And the after effects, the shadow of it was that he disassociated. He, he, he's, um, so now he's daydreaming a lot in class. He's not paying attention. You know, some people, some people talk about, uh, tonsil trauma, dental traumas, you know. So the, there's a lot going on from the time while in the womb uh, until until kindergarten, those formative years when all the psychic structure is being formed. Um, and the implicit memory system is remembering what happens and creating scripts and records and things, you know. So, um, but he faced, he faced them through his free associations and having a a safe connection with the new person and uh, he went through the mourning process and achieved whole object relations he saw that he, he saw that his parents were fellow human being caught in their uh, respective existential dilemmas you know Bruce Springsteen uh, in the introduction to one of his songs talks about this he said that he discovered the humanity of his parents that uh, that they had dreams, things didn't pan out, there were blessings, good and bad. So he reached, so the idea was that he reached the whole object relations. And the song is called Independence Day. He, it means psychological independence day. See, whole object relations means forgiveness. And when you, and when you achieve forgiveness, whole object relations, that's emotional freedom. That's his independence day, emotional freedom. Right? One quote is that therapy is about finding emotional freedom. And and um, we had the Mark 
Twain quote about Ubuntu. Whatever you see on the outside, everyone wears, grief wears many masks. See, we're all alike, so we all have to create a mask. That's why we're all alike. We all have to cope with our childhoods, you know. Um, underneath, in the inner world, there's a tragedy, a comedy, and a drama. Again, we're all alike because we have this, you know. We all live in two worlds, Melanie Klein said, the external world and the, the inner world. And in the inner world, according as Mark Twain says, there's a tragedy, a comedy, and a drama. Um, when I know who I am, I am you, sort of similar thing to Ubuntu. Quote 82 said, if we could honestly look at ourselves without judgment, we would see how alike we all are. Similar idea to Ubuntu. Ubuntu, pardon me. And, um, and quote 67, I found the original source of that quote, and uh, I thought I would play it if that's okay. enthusiastic she found Ubuntu she found whole object relations the situation was she interviewed people and she discovered how everyone's finding their own little ways to cope with humanity the human condition and that's what we all and that's what we all have in common that we're that we're coping with things you see so that's the Ubuntu uh, we find our humanness in our human in our humanity in the recognition that we all have little ways of, that's what makes us a little bit different on the surface. Grief wears many masks on the surface, but underneath, everyone is experiencing that, the humanity. Um, maybe we'll just play one, one more time. So there's that, and I was thinking about the other characters. Um, you know, why did the script writer arrange it for the other characters to sort of dismiss it or ignore it? Um, I mean, the situation was that the other the other characters weren't in a mood. They were already in a bad mood when she came in to announce her discovery of whole object relations of Ubuntu. She wanted to share that, but you know, maybe they maybe there's a symbolic representation of resistance you see um, Masterson has his axiom self-activation leads to abandonment depression leads to defense so the recognition of Ubuntu that's self-activation you're you're feeling you're feeling your humanity and your pain and you're, you're recognizing things but you know sometimes it's painful then we defend it by denying it so maybe they kind of represented that resistance to uh, 
psychological birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just brush it off. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this has been TQ eighty six. Um, I think I might, if it's okay, I'll just run through it one more time because um, because it's from James Masterson. He's our mentor throughout this series. As the client grows in therapy, as he overcomes the splitting and establishes whole object relations, and as the wounds of the past lose some of their sting, the client comes to see his mother as a whole object, both good and bad, as she existed in reality caught in her own existential dilemma. The ancient rage at her subsides and ebbs away, as does the client's need to blame her. As an adult, he accepts responsibility for his past as well as his present and can see his mother as a fellow human being who was caught, as was he, in a net that was not of her own making. Okay, so this is, that's a good quote on Ubuntu. Okay, um, so I'll pause it here. Thank you very much. To be continued, this has been TQ86. Bye for now.